At AAA Texas predicts an all-time high number of travelers for this upcoming 4th of July holiday weekend. Joining us here in studio to talk about that and how to get ready for the busy holiday weekend is AAA spokesperson, AAA Texas spokesperson, <laughs> Joshua Zuber. Always great to see you. Thanks for coming in this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. So how many people is AAA Texas predicting will be heading out for the 4th? We had already mentioned it, a record number of folks expected to uh, travel for the 4th of July holiday weekend. We're looking at a total travel volume, the highest we've ever seen uh, for the, since the year 2000, uh, looking at about 3.8 million Texans traveling 50 miles or more away from home. Uh, the vast majority are going to be driving. That's usually the case, but certainly expecting an even larger number of folks to be flying to their destination. And as far as cruises go, buses and trains, also uh, really high numbers, not quite all the way up to pre pandemic levels, but we are certainly very close to it. And I know for folks who are hitting the road, the number one question they want to know is when will traffic be the yeah. worst? Well, certainly in the afternoon is when we see the worst traffic anywhere around Houston and any of our metro areas. But Friday afternoon looks to be uh, the heaviest uh, with the traffic, probably around that 3 to 6 p.m. time frame, especially if you're going to places like Galveston or heading up north to Dallas or heading out west uh, to, of course, Austin, San Antonio, those destinations. So certainly want to make sure uh, that you plan your route out ahead, uh, make sure you're your vehicle is prepared at AAA. We've got an easy acronym that I say often, and that's make a good bet, B-E-T, that you'll arrive safely. And that acronym stands for check your battery, engine, as well as your tires. Uh, same thing for yourself. Make sure that you're prepared to travel, right? So uh, make sure you get plenty of rest the night before. Uh, you know, don't don't have a huge breakfast, but certainly make sure, you know, you have a good meal, uh, you're well hydrated and you're just mentally prepared to go and you know your route and your gas tank is full. You don't want to be uh, calling AAA for, uh, uh oh, I ran out of fuel because uh, it's going to be busy and it is going to be hot, of course, uh, on our Texas roadways. And if you start to feel sluggish or sleepy, make sure you take frequent breaks as well. About every two hours or 100 miles, give or take. Good enough. All right, so last year, during Memorial Day, 4th of July, we were concerned about high gas prices. Mm -hmm. How are gas prices looking right now heading into the In relative terms, better, right? So we were at that record high uh, gas price number. It was around $4.50 in Houston and around uh, the whole state. Uh, higher prices even, of course, out west and on our coastal cities out east. Uh, but right now you can see $3.18 for a gallon of regular and leaded in Houston, $3.20 in Texas. So, boy, so much cheaper, of course, at the pump. And I think, again, in relative terms. I know it, it, it's not pleasant to see it starting off with a three, uh, but certainly in relative terms that might spur some last minute decisions for travel. Uh, and again, you know, ways to save at the pump. You know, again, make sure your vehicle's well maintained, uh, you know, shop around for the best gas prices, AAA mobile app or the AAA Triptic website. And then when you get to the pump, make sure you're choosing the right grade of gasoline. Mm -hmm. Most vehicles can run on regular. Just check your owner's manual. Okay. And I know you touched on this in terms of how folks can get ready to hit the road. I guess creating a checklist ahead of time also helps. That is so super important, you know, and whether you're driving or flying or taking a cruise, make sure you've got with you all of the essentials that you need, right? So make sure you've got all your medications, right? So if you find yourself in a situation where uh, things are going a little bit unexpected, make sure you've got all your medications with you. Make sure uh, that you've got, you know, non-perishable snacks, uh, water, you know, of course, if you're driving, again, all of this heat uh, and just making sure your vehicle is well prepared and making sure yourself that you are well prepared. All right, all great. Great advice. Joshua Zuber, thank you so much for being with us this morning. AAA Texas. And be sure to go to clicktohouston.com slash scene at 7.